Hi guys, Mr. Jason here with a hot cup of coffee and I wanted to use this opportunity to talk to you about the first and second law of thermodynamics. The first law of thermodynamics says that heat energy cannot be created or destroyed. So let's focus on the creation part. What's meant by that is it can't be spontaneously created. It has to come from somewhere. All right, so this heat energy came from the Keurig machine that I used to make this coffee. And of course that, that heat energy came from electricity and so forth. All right, so that energy came from somewhere. It wasn't just spontaneously created out of nowhere. All right, it also says, the first law of thermodynamics says that heat energy can't be destroyed. Now, this cup of coffee is starting to cool down as time goes on. That means that the heat is leaving the cup of coffee. But the, the heat's not being destroyed. It's just being released to the air around the coffee. In fact, I can, if I get my hand close enough, I can feel the heat around the outside of this cup, all right? So the heat's not being destroyed at all, it's just going out into the air around the coffee. And it's bumping into those air molecules and getting them shaking around, getting them excited. They're all shaking around here, which is causing them to warm up and they're bouncing against my hand and I can feel it. I can feel the warmth from those, from those air molecules warming up, all right? So the heat energy is not being destroyed, it's just being transferred to the air. So heat energy is just transferred somewhere else. Uh, then the second law of thermodynamics says a few things. Uh, one of the main things that it says is that heat energy transfers from a warmer object to a cooler object. Now the air around this cup is cooler than the actual coffee in the cup itself. It's, it's cooler. All right. So that means that the heat from the coffee will be traveling out to the air around the coffee. So as time goes on, there will be less heat in the coffee and more of this heat will be dispersed through the air. All right. Um, now this air right next to the cup of coffee is never going to be as hot as the coffee itself because there's a lot of air for this heat energy to dis be dispersed into. All right. But that's how that's the flow of, of heat energy. And that's what the second law of thermodynamics is saying is that heat energy will flow from a warmer object to a cooler object. The air or this table is cooler than the mug. And so if I move it over, the table is warm. Um, so heat energy moves from a warmer object to a cooler object. Uh, second law of thermodynamics also says that entropy increases. All right. So when I, when this coffee was heated up, the water that is a component of this coffee, as well as the coffee itself, the water particles and the coffee particles started moving around really quickly. All right, they had a high kinetic energy, um, meaning that they had a high level of entropy. Not necessarily because they're moving fast, but because their speed caused a lot of disorder within the particles in this cup. They're all over the place, moving around all over the place. As this cup is cooling down, these particles are starting to slow down. Their kinetic energy is less. They're starting to slow down in the cup as it cools down, and um, entropy is actually decreasing. Uh, it's decreasing because the particles are becoming more orderly. All right, if you were to look at this, the particles wouldn't be scattered all over the place as much. They'd be more orderly. So we say that the entropy is less. There's less disorder as this cup of coffee cools down. But the disorder around the cup is actually increasing. So remember that heat travels from a warm object to a or yeah, from a warm object to a cooler object. Well, now this heat is out in the air and the particles around the cup are speeding up, okay? Causing more entropy out here. So the cup is one system, the air around the cup is another system. So even though the entropy is decreasing in this system, the entropy around the cup is increasing. So entropy always increases. And as you go higher up, if you make the system even larger, like the air up here, well, eventually this air is going to warm up to a small degree. And remember, there's a lot of air particles, so you won't really feel it. But the entropy is actually traveling outward and it's increasing. There's more and more air as you get further from the cup. So entropy is always increasing. Disorder is always increasing. Um, so those are the first and second law of thermodynamics as they relate to a cup of coffee.